now The changing in the leaves We're in the real world now Not junior varsity since I have filmed a video that I feel a bit weird doing this right now. So you may be wondering why I am wearing a school uniform right now because if any of you have ever watched any of my videos ever, you might have picked up on the fact that I left school early and wanted to do a gap year and well, frankly, that's not really happened. I don't think I want to get into the nitty gritty of everything and anything that's gone on in my life for the past three months because every time I do, I just sort of don't really get what I mean to say out in the video. I literally just wanted to have a little catch up slash chat with you guys while I get myself ready for the day. So that's what we're doing today. Grab your selves. I don't know. So yeah, long story short, I have gone back to school. This is my first full week back. It's my second week back. So I'm about like a month behind on all the courses, which is not fun. By God, I have missed out on some learning and it does just add to the stress. So yeah, I think this week I just wanted to make a video because I've been making it a weekly goal for weeks now and I still haven't gotten around to it just because I've been feeling so shit and off. Even though I never wanted to like quote unquote force myself to make a video, I do think it's just got to the point where I'm trying to make these little steps. Yeah, these little steps in my life where I know that in the long run these things make me happy. They might be tricky to do now because I'm not feeling like myself but ultimately I love making videos and I miss making videos even if this week turns out to be a shit show I still want to encapsulate that because I obviously hate the whole thing on the media of life being perfect on social media because it just isn't it just isn't I would say it's tricky as well because everyone has such such deep and personal lives so if you share anything on the internet it's so tricky to know where the line is that you draw on what you share and what you don't share and I'm still learning that I'm still learning that every day so I think I always wanted to be like super honest and say everything that has ever happened to me in my videos or to just be honest about everything but now I'm sort of realizing that maybe that was a bit ambitious of me I think it's so tricky to be brutally honest about every little thing that goes on in your life and I love chatting to the camera to you guys but I just feel like recently because of the headspace that I'm in I would not make sense for most of my videos yeah I think I was trying to rush the update on how my life's doing because I still feel like I'm in this like mental rut if you can call it that i think it's tricky to speak honestly when you're still going through it a bit i don't know time to straighten it maybe oh my god look at my bangs i might cut them this week maybe it's one of those weeks where i do a weekly vlog and cut my bangs that's my little update i guess long story short is i'm going back to school and i pretty much have just really missed talking to you guys. Don't want it to sound cheesy. It definitely will but it's sort of like chatting to a friend when I chat to the camera and it used to be when I started that I felt so awkward on camera and I felt like I don't know just weird trying to like phrase the way I feel and think and it still is a bit tricky. It's always a learning experience that but I don't know like it generally just has been something that I missed and really wanted to do um, but every time I come to do it, it just feels like I'm being forceful of myself and if anything that's the 
last thing I want to be doing right now. I realize half of what I'm saying doesn't really make sense right now because I'm running very low on caffeine and sleep. <laughs> I don't really think I have much planned for this week, like officially. I'll just see where the week ends up. My sister is actually moving to Manchester on Friday, which is shit scary and more change, more change, more change. Everything just feels like it's changing all the time now. I'm shitting my pants slightly, but we'll get there. I also don't know if I will film much in school because I am a nervous wreck with that. I think my brain is just so all over the place at the moment so sorry if this makes no sense or I just have been rambling on for 10 minutes already and I should probably be getting ready for school instead rather than over straightening my hair in the morning. I remember this time six months ago now which is crazy to say but March this year I sat down in this spot and I chatted about being honest and how I just wanted to like share more of my experiences this year and just get all of that onto my videos and I've had a little bit of a bump which happens. I've I feel like every, at least at one point in the year, it happens and I just need to come to accept that rather than be harsh with myself about it. I think that's my hair pretty much strained. I really have done it quite badly but I need to pack up my things and make myself a coffee because that's become my little morning ritual. Even if I don't drink at all because caffeine makes me anxious right now, that is the plan. Let me know how you're doing as well because I would love to know, like I genuinely would, um, I've missed, I've missed this. Hopefully I'm coming back to it slightly so. please. Honest catch up of the day. I have been feeling very nauseated and tired so I have been struggling to get all my work done and I'm okay with that. School is nice to be honest. I need to just do a lot of catching up on work and it's honestly a bit overwhelming but I am getting there. A five hour nap right now would be so good and I say five hours because that's the amount of sleep I usually get so let's get hyped. Mm. I need some sleep I can't go on like this I try counting sheep But this one I always miss Today was actually going really nicely and I just hit a little bump, I think. It's tricky being honest. I haven't felt this crap in a while. I sort of managed to calm myself down a bit. Just one of those days I just want to sleep. <laughs> just want to close my eyes for a bit. I hate that I'm still feeling like this because I'm really trying not to. It just seems to keep happening. It seems to be that every day I feel like this at some point and no matter how hard I try to shove it down and get it away from me, it always comes bubbling back up. It just feels like I am at rock bottom right now. I don't even know if I'll put this in. I want to, but I also, I get scared that people are gonna look at me in a different way because of it. Welcome to my life. Side note, I don't know if you watched my end of summer vlog, but this is the mug that I painted in Yorkshire. It's very cute. I need some sleep. You can't go home like this. I 
try counting sheep But there's one I always miss Everyone says I'm getting down too low Everyone says I just gotta let it go I just gotta let it go I just gotta let it go He can't separate the physical from the emotional He's all like, I love you Today's Thursday, um, we didn't film a lot, didn't film a lot yesterday, which is fine because I'm trying not to make it matter as much in my head. It's actually such a nice morning, like the sky is clear and like this week the mornings have been rubbish, like so grey, so misty, so cloudy, just so like miserable. It really doesn't like motivate you to start the day but I really enjoyed this morning because like the sun's like streaming down over the houses and I just literally love that with my whole heart. Hopefully today will be a good day. We're manifesting it guys. The clear morning means a clear day. Clear mind, clear day. Mm. Yeah, we've had time to think during that last year. This is so classic of your father. Okay, ready to go.
Men säg på program. I'm already tired. First thing we do when we're putting a track together is start with the beat. Then we add something from a record like this. Having got that into our sampler, we play it. Thank you. 